What's up again, everybody? Jake from Anything But Commons coming back to you on the road on our way to the Garden State Trading Show at the La Quinta C Caucus, presented by New Jersey Collector Fest and Laz NYC. Uh, they've been promoting this show for a while, guys. I was set up in Wayne for a show at the beginning of May. This one was first first uh, getting promoted. Uh, didn't take the dive on this one. You know, I got Tampa. Uh, I'm leaving on Tuesday for Tampa. Um, and we got Philly towards the end of the month. So just a tight end of the summer, and we decided to let this one go. Um, where the heck am I going? But doesn't change the fact that we're super stoked to get to this show. Um, I know Laz and, uh, and uh, uh, Collector Fest have, have been putting putting this show together for a while. They've assembled a heck of a line of autograph guests, um, ranging from uh, the athlete to the artist. Really, guys, put together a heck of a show so far. Hopefully, it looks like it's going to be a good turnout. Um, a lot of shows this weekend. I know Dallas is going on, and that was like a ghost town from what I heard. Um, but that, we're not talking about Dallas. We're in New Jersey, the home state. Can't wait for another morning playing with cardboard. Check in real soon. Walking into the Garden State Trading Card Show. Looks like a good day. Right by the man, there he is. Iron Sheik in the house. What's up, bro? Number one. There you go. One more time, Sheik. Number one, number one, he said place is full guys we got six side rooms and the big one a lot of stuff going on here today supergirl in the house john from bambino give him a shout he just hooked me up with a gorgeous 1976 tony perez tops psa 8 25 dollars that's how nice of a guy he was to anything but comments today we think that card's way undervalued john was happy to help us out Jude with the assist on this one, guys, because we were actually going after that Chris Paul top E tops rookie for a while with Bambino. That was why we bought the Tony Perez to begin with as kind of an icebreaker, but we just couldn't get it done. Sure as heck, Jude got it done in this lot that he picked up and flipped it to us right after the show. Chilling with my man Elvis. He already hooked me up on these two babies. Nine five fresh phenoms. Forty bucks. What do you think, guys? Forty bucks for those. You got to steal it here. Bray Lucky, Jr. Oh, I already dropped two seventy with you. Let's call it an even three hundred. Thirty bucks for the stack. Rock on. <laughs> My man Elvis. Go, we good? Appreciate you, brother. That's how we do business. Uh, you cool on camera? Yeah. This guy, let me tell you, of all the dealers in the room, Elvis is the man. Shout out your IG. You got an IG, Elvis? Elvis Red One. Yeah. There you go. Hook him up on IG. What's up, everybody? We're back at the ABC offices. Want to run down the, the slightly small, but I hey, listen, it's not about quantity, right? Slightly smaller stack that we picked up today <clears throat> at the Garden State Trading Show in Sea Caucus. Had a great time, saw a bunch of people that we uh, we love seeing in this industry, especially on the East Coast. Shout out again to you, lads. You put on a great show. Um, starting at the top, we picked up this little small lot at the end. You might have seen um, Cristiano Ronaldo, Pink Mosaic, Jim Ross. I think it's an X Fractor out of Topps Chrome. He's an absolute legend. Two, two Ronda Rousey rookie cards. And I scoped them real quick. The lighting in there was kind of terrible, but um, they both look like they're in pretty decent shape. 
Uh, Eduardo Camavinga, rookie card out of Mosaic. There's a lot of talk on him right now, guys. He might be uh, headed to a new spot. And of course, the Bray Wyatt rookie. The Bray Wyatt rookie. I'm cool with any wrestling rookie cards right now. Modern, vintage, if I think that performer's got a heck of a career going for him, I'm buying him because I think the whole market's undervalued. Um, you saw the uh, Saquon Silver field level, I believe. True gem. That's what put me the over the edge on this one, guys. Um, PSA 10 sold recently. I don't even remember what it sold for, to tell you the truth. The last min had done 189, I think, but that was like a month and a half ago. Um, and there's a lot of question marks regarding Saquon season, clearly, but I'm hopeful, not to mention I'm on the East Coast. So in a true gem, field level silver, I was pretty pumped about that. Um, the Iverson Metal Rookie, the Fresh Brown Foundation, Foundations in an SGC 9.5. You'll see I don't have a lot of SGC inventory, guys, but this is a different kind of insert card. Um, again, if you want to get, get into Fleer Universe metal type stuff, especially what Precious Metal stuff has gotten to recently on guys like Jordan, Kobe, etc., 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 I still think Iverson's market is definitely undervalued. Um, mentioned this Tony Perez PSA 8 from 76. It cost me a whole big $25. The centering is not 50-50, it's 60-40. Maybe that's even a little generous, but, but the well is drying up on these late 70s tops cards, guys. Um, even in a PSA 8 at $20 or so, it's, it's undervalued in my mind, and I'll pick them up all day long. Um, kind of a similar story there, 1974 tops Billy Harris. Uh, this was a first overall pick. Uh, I paid $15 for this. It costs more to grade with PSA once bulk is going to open back up than the $15 that I spent uh, on a 1974 Topps Billy Harris. The Islanders were one of the teams of the 70s, guys. $15? I, come on. Um, <clears throat> showed you also from Bambino. Uh, Jude was able to work out this Chris Paul E-Tops number to 2000 rookie. This thing spiked once they got to the finals. Um, the last PSA 10 did like 215, which is so cheap in my mind. Um, this is a True Gem Plus. Uh, there's only a few True Gem Pluses in the pop report, and I believe there's only three or four BGS 10s. Don't quote me on that, but if memory serves, that's what it was. So to get a, uh, a Chris Paul uh, number to 2000, really low print run, uh, in a true gem plus for less than $200. I was ecstatic. Um, but my find of the day, you know what? I can't even tell you what it's worth. I know what I paid. I paid a hundred dollars. I paid a hundred dollars for a pop three Dan Marino, uh, foil collector's edge advantage, living large hollow foil. It's a pop three. Go look at Dan Marino's market and compare it to any of the other great quarterbacks over the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s, etc. This guy is so underappreciated and undervalued, plus the card is just awesome. It absolutely spoke to me. I had to have it, and uh, for the $100 bill that I pulled out of my pocket for a pop three, I think this one will do a little bit better in Tampa this week. So that's the sum of it all, guys. Had a great time at the Garden State Trading Show this weekend. We actually just signed up for four tables for the next one. I believe the date on that is October 10th, so mark your calendars now. Anything but commons will be there. And uh, what can I tell you? I'm going to go back to playing with cardboard because my afternoon is not over. Take care, everybody.